start it, you just hear that low growl that says, come on, mess with me if you think you can. Not that it matters when you back up, but they want you to see what you hit. All right, I don't often put my seatbelt on because I just know that I'm safe in here. Yeah. I feel bad for the others, but not that bad. You command every road you're on. Oh, what you feel. <laughs> I feel empowered. Oh, you imagine how I feel. I'm the one with my, gas, my foot on the gas. <laughs> 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 Drives with the smoothness of a car, but with all the power and attitude of a muscle car. People just stop because they said, I've got to see this thing. I'm going to drive slowly here because I want people to, to take it in. Because it's, you know, by the time you get from the bumper, front bumper to the back bumper, it may feel like an hour's past the beauty that you behold. Oh, oh they're looking. Look at all of them. They're so jealous. Yeah, they should be. But you know, if they succeed in life, they may in fact be at the point where they'll be able to get one of these things. Once you, once you go above and you never go back. <laughs> no, no, if you do, you're depressed all the time. And I don't like to be depressed. Oh. It's hard not to be in a worshipful attitude when you're in a Suburban. I often find myself thinking about the doxology when I'm driving. The Suburban is not a name of a vehicle. It is an expression of an attitude. That when students talk about the suburban, I want them to know that this is what they're talking about.